In this video, I'm going to show you how to fold my heart-shaped box. This is quite a simple model. This was folded out of a 12-inch square of paper. You can fold it out of any size of paper, thick or thin. It's, it's quite effective. It's a variation of this model, which is a box which has a circular top and a square base. And just by adding two more folds, we can turn it into the heart-shaped box. So let's start folding. Here's my 12-inch square of paper. And I'm going to flip it over to the right side. And I'm going to make value folds into thirds. And I use my rolling method to do that. So I'm just going to loosely roll the paper into thirds, make it like an S shape and I'm going to even out the edges, just roll, keep rolling until we're happy that each of the edges is the same length. Not quite there yet. And when we're happy that each of our edges is the same length, we're going to make a pinch either side. So we'll have two, when we open it out, we'll have two pinches. And I'm going to use this pinch to make my first belly fold. I'm going to open that out, turn it back around, and make the other third. We're going to make thirds going this way as well, but we don't have to roll the paper. Um, one of the creases we need is a diagonal crease. We're going to fold this, this corner to this crease mark we've made. We're going to fold all four corners in like this. With those corners in place we can use these edges and where the angle changes as their reference to fold the other third. So I'm going to start my fold here and make sure it goes right to the edge where the angle changes. same this side. And where the angle changes both sides. And fold everything. Uh, we need another diagonal now which is to fold the corner to where these two creases meet. So it's folding this 2x2 two two square in diagonally in half. So we're going to do this on all four corners. So one. Now we're going to turn the paper over and we can see this square here has got diagonals going across it. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to bisect this angle. So, 
So where this mount increases and this mount increases, we're going to make another valley crease between the two. Uh, I tend to have to pay for a year when I'm doing this. So I'm going to hold that mount increase in place. Put this mount increase in place. Join the two together, just gently join the edges. I'm making a, I'm just flattening the paper a little bit. To make the crease a bit sharper, I kind of turn it over to the white side and I reinforce the crease from the inside. Well, you'll see me do that a lot more times anyway, because you've got to make eight of those creases. So if we make the diagonal between these two, as our next fold, so we'll take these two existing mounting creases, join them together, hold them flat, and from the white side, reinforce the crease. Okay, so that's that one done. Let's do this one. It's actually slightly easier to do with smaller paper. But it's pretty simple anyway. Last two folds to put in. making our circular box this would be all the pre-creasing we'd need at this stage but because this is our heart shaped box uh, I'm going to add two more creases to this so I'm going to fold two opposite corners in like this okay. this is going to be the top and the bottom of our heart and on one of these, I'm going to fold this triangle in half as a valley fold. Okay, crease firmly for all the layers. So, there's a valley fold on that one. On the opposite corner, this needs to be a mountain fold. So I'm going to turn the paper over and fold it this way. Just going to fold the triangle in half. And that's the extra creases we need to make this a heart shaped box. Um, right, I'm going to unfold everything. Now I'm going to show you how to assemble the box, although there is one more crease I like to put in before I do it, before I finish the box. So I'm going to lift up the side, so valley fold the whole edge up, and we've got this valley and mountain here, which is effectively a pleat. We can put in place and we complete the other the other side over the top of it like this and we can see there's a mountain crease all the way across here and we can put that mountain crease through all of the layers so I'm folding both of these like this and I'm giving this a hard pinch so from this side we've made some extra creases here so 
holding this in like this. I'm going to put that crease in on all four sides. So I'm going to lift this side up. I'm going to put the pleat in, put the other pleat in, and turn that into the mounting crease all the way through. Right this second, it doesn't matter which way round we do the pleats. So this one's underneath, that one's on top. When we finally assemble the model, it's nice if we do the same way around for each of the pleats. So if you just put this last one in and then we'll start assembling the box. Like this. Like, oh, the focus is going terrible on this. I'm too far away from the camera, there we are. Okay, I'm going to keep this last edge in place like this and we can see that this side is over the top of this side. So I'm going to make sure that all of the other sides are like that as well. So this side and it will go over the top of that pleat and then we'll put this second mountain crease back in. So we'll take this down like that. So we've done two edges of our box. We're just going to work our way around. So this pleat in place, this one over the top, put the mountain crease back in, three sides. Last one, pleat, pleat, mountain fold, and all the creases are inside. So what I usually do at this stage, if it's a round box, I make sure that where the thick paper is, where these edges meet, I add a bit of a curve to each, each side. And then you can see that we're starting to make a kind of a round shape. But this is a heart shaped box and we put two extra creases in with that in mind. We've got this mounting crease here, which I'm going to exaggerate. I'm going to pinch this like this and I can see I'm going to adding a curve this way so it's like the base of our heart and then this side we we put the, the crease in as a valley so we're going to push the sides in like this so it's just I'm not making any new creases I'm just pinching what's already there adding a curve to it and we're beginning to get a heart shape that's just sort of finish off the shaping of this until we're happy. And there we have a heart shaped box.